When gasoline cars started to outsell other types of motor vehicles in the late 1800s, it was quickly noted that there was a need to mass produce. The first car manufacturers in the world were the French, producing a panhardened Levisor and Peugeot. But the French manufacturers didn't standardise their cars, and each one was different. In 1894, a gentleman by the name of Carl Benz created 134 Benz Velos, each one identical. And this was the start of the car assembly line as we know it today. American car maker Henry Ford came up with an even better version of the assembly line and was the first to introduce a conveyor belt system. This improved production and at the same time reduced production costs for cars by decreasing assembly time. In 1908, Henry Ford introduced the Model T Ford and it was a huge success. By 1927, there had been more than 15 million Model Ts manufactured and Ford became the world's biggest motor car company. Today, cars are manufactured in processing plants all over the world. The German materials and techniques used to produce Mercedes, Audi, BMW and Porsche are highly regarded, with high quality machines produced in Europe and distributed around the world. Other car makers are producing their cars in poorer countries to keep prices down, which in turn is creating a cheaper product for the market. The Mexican version of the Volkswagen ceased production after 70 years due to decreasing demand. During its production run, nearly 21 million cars were produced in Mexico.